is Carrie with Canary Quilts and this is the second video in the 11th Simple What Nots mini quilt club and this is the first quilt in that club. This club is through Fat Quarter Shop and I believe it is still open. I can put the link down below if you're interested. I'm calling it the plus sign quilt but it's actually called Close Quarters. So last video we went through and cut all our material and I got it all organized and this week we're doing all nine of our plus sign blocks. So I've been working here and I follow directions. Directions are, they're good. They're good directions. The only thing I found was my blocks weren't coming out to seven and a half inches. Couldn't figure out why. I tried starching at the end and then doing a real hard iron on them. Um, I tried starching the material before I even um, started sewing. Found out it shrunk it. That didn't work. Um, tried again with just doing a quarter inch. That didn't work either. I was really having to push on my iron to try to get to seven and a half inches and it was really kind of frustrating me. So this block I did with a scant quarter inch. Turned out beautiful. Seven and a half inches. Perfect. No trimming. It's square. I didn't have to push hard on my seams, so that's what I'm doing. They say not, they don't say to use a quarter, scant quarter inch, but I have found it's taken me six blocks. Scant quarter inch is working. So that's the only difference I'm finding. Um, my mom was having the same problem. She's doing these quilts too. She couldn't get to seven and a half inch square blocks either. So it's not just me. Um, I checked that my machine was quarter inch, that it was a true quarter inch, and it is. But I still just, with a quarter inch stitch, couldn't get to seven and a half inch square. But when I use a scant quarter inch, it, it came out square. It turned out beautiful. And I really didn't have to push hard on the iron to do my seams or anything like that. So I'm going to put together a block for you. It's going to be my seventh. Oh, well, this was my seventh block. It'll be my eighth out of nine show you how I did it and I'm going to be using a scant quarter inch so stay tuned. Okay here I am set up to start my next block and what they want and what they want to do to build a block is to choose five sets just random colors of the plus sign colors here. So I've gone ahead and done that you need 12 of the cream color squares and you need four of the cream rectangles. So we're going to lay our block out and I will show you how to put it together. And yeah, my uh, easel has a lot of strings on it, but they're really hard to pull up. That's why the fabric sticks so well to it. So I'm going to get this, I'm going to get my block laid out how it needs to be laid out. So let's see, I'll make these two the top. Uh, I'll make the pink the middle and the brown and the green the bottom. So I'm just placing these where I want them. So we'll start across the top and start laying out our pieces. They show you in the pattern how to do this. Um, I've done it six, seven times now. So I know how to do it, but I also would follow this block too that I have laying here. So we need to start up here. The Cream colors are also just random. So our next row is going to be the middle of the plus sign. And this is just going to be a rough layout. So now we need to do the bottom of these plus signs and start our middle plus sign. So we need, oh, and these are going to be, am I missing? I must be missing one of these, so I'm just going to switch out a color till I find it. Let's grab a new color. Okay, so there we go. There's a blue and a blue. So now we've got a blue. A cream. This is our middle color. Another cream. 
and the bottom of our red right here. So now we're going to build the middle of our that's the middle of the plus sign for our middle plus sign. Yeah, that's a lot. And now we have to start our new plus sign for the bottom. Do our middle, bottom of our middle plus sign, and then start the green one. And now we have to do the middle. And then our last row is completing our other plus signs. And then the rest of this row is right here. So these two leftover ones are going to go here. So you, you put these three rows together, they're going to be shorter, and then you add these two to make the same length as the top and the bottom rows. Okay, so that was our other block. Okay, so let's start with the center block. And remember, I'm using a scant quarter inch. That's, the, that's how I found it to be the best way to get to a seven and a half inch block. So my machine is set to a scant quarter inch. I have a quarter inch foot, so I can just use that and it'll make a smaller seam. So I'm going to start sewing and I need to clip the side I want to sew just so I make sure. And then what we're going to do is we're going to iron all our seams on this block in the rows towards the dark fabric. So that's how all of the rows will be ironed also. So let me get this sewn, and this is how it's going to be ironed. Set that seam and iron it towards the dark fabric. So it goes back right here. Nope, it goes back right here. And let's do that. This so they're all going the right way. Same way. And we'll add this so scant quarter inch. Again, iron towards the dark fabric. It goes like that. This is our next one scant quarter inch. Iron towards the dark fabric. Goes like that. This is our next seam. And the last one in our row here and we're going to iron towards that dark fabric. So every row is going to be put together just like that. So scan quarter inch and iron towards the dark fabric. So that goes there. So I'm going to real quick do the other two rows in the center and we'll come back and I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, got all three of these rows done. So now what we do is we attach the top and bottom rows to the middle row. And you will do that by aligning these end blocks. And you can nest those seams because of the way we have been ironing towards the dark. Come on, string, get out of the way. So you can see how nice that is when it's nested. It'll look good when it's sewn. So you can feel when it's nested. It's nice and flat. Go over here to this side. Align these edge blocks. You can see there.
Uh, looks good. So I'm going to sew along the edge that I just clipped, scant quarter inch. Now, the way we're going to iron this one is we're going to iron the outside rows towards the center row, which is where the long middle of the plus sign is right here. Set that seam, make it flat. And then I just try to warm that seam up and then go over it. Okay. Goes like this. So we do the exact same thing with this bottom one. We're going to line up these two seams right here and nest them. So with quarter inch, uh, scant quarter inch. Same thing here. Let's set that seam and we're going to iron it towards the center block. The center row, I should say. center block and now we are going to attach these two sides and there's no seams to attach here so the interesting thing is is I was afraid that with a scant quarter inch that this would not fit but it fits perfect so scant quarter inch here also I just think there's just so many seams that the scant quarter inch just works so much better. So we'll sew this on, on either side, and then I'll show you how to iron that. Okay, there's our seams, we'll set those. Now we want to iron, and it is not the path of least resistance like I usually say, so that all our seams nest in the end, we want to iron towards the center of the block. And same thing over here. Iron towards the center of the block. Those seams can get bulky, so if you warm them up a little, then it should lay down better. Okay, that's how you do the center block. So now what we're going to do is, the pattern has you put together all the rows and then assemble I found just getting this block out of the way works and then we're going to put these rows together and then put these blocks together because you can get them moved around and, and mixed up. So to keep the colors in the right spot, we're just going to work in sections. So scant quarter inch, iron towards the dark. And this is just going to go on the other side. towards the dark. See? Look at that. Do this one. Make sure you get it placed correctly. That helps.
Next, scant cold wrench. And look at that, I didn't iron towards the dark. I iron, I iron the easiest way. Ugh. There we go. Iron towards the dark. Last piece goes here. Iron towards the dark. There we go. Okay. Goes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two rows together right now. Go like that. I am going to clip the side I need to sew. So when I flip it over, I don't lose track because I've done that a couple times already. And there are no seams to match here. So we're just going to match up edges. Not really a, it's just those seams. Those seams are puffing up on me. Just gonna pin in the center and then iron a scant quarter inch right along where I have pinned. Okay, there's our seam. Looks like it puckered on the end on me. So, we are going to iron towards the long rectangles, the middle of the plus sign. Let's get that seam warm. And then iron it over. So you're ironing towards the middle of the plus sign. So the bottom is going to go together just like the top. So I'm going to get this done. We'll come back and we'll assemble the block. So I got these two rows done. Just want to make a note that you want to make sure that your plus signs match because in a few of my other blocks I just got busy and they didn't match. So we want to put our rows together. I'm clipping the side I want to sew so that when I turn it over I don't get confused. And again, there's no seams to match here. We are just matching the ends and filling in the middle. So I'm going to get this sewn with a scant quarter inch. Okay, got this sewn together and it's ironed towards the middle of the plus sign here, just like this one. So now we're going to put the top and bottom block onto the middle block. And where we match seams there is in the middle. These two middle blocks, we're going to nest our seams. So you can see that one's nested. And then we're going to nest the one on the other side. And clip those. And then we're going to go to the edges. We're going to match our edges. And then once we get our edges matched, we're going to look at the... We're going to look in between all our clips, see if there's any extra material or anything like that and this bottom one wants to shoot up over the back one so I'm going to put a clip there keep it in place but it's they're pretty much the same size and I'm just going to put a clip there for good measure so a scant quarter inch okay there's our seam I'm going to set it 
Now we want to iron away from the center block. So warm up the seam and then just push it towards the top. I'm so used to working with batiks that there aren't this many threads coming off the fabric. Okay, so there we go. Now, we'll do the same thing here. We're going to put these two sides together, match those center blocks. Ooh, that just popped right into place. Clip it. And that one just wants to pop right into place, so. It's not popped in there. There it is. Okay, got it. A little bit of puckering there, but I think it'll be fine once we start sewing. Match those edges. Match the other edge. Check in between. That looks good. So there's a little pucker in this pink. Um, I think I'll just throw a pin in. And I'm just throwing a pin in these for good measure. They are laying nice and flat. So I'm going to sew scant quarter inch. Okay. Same thing, iron away from the center. Warm that seam up. And then start just ironing away from the center. There's our block. Let's see how, look at it, it looks square. It's not wonky. Seven, look at that. Look at that, it's perfect. Seven and a half inches square, perfect. That's pretty, that's pretty close. I bet I could iron that one out. That's almost seven and a half. So scant quarter inch is working for me. Um, it doesn't say to do that in the pattern, but that's what's working for me. So, I would that's what I would suggest doing. If you haven't started already, scant quarter inch seams, and you'll end up with a nice square block like this. So there you go. That's how you do this plus sign block. We have nine of these. Um, so the next one, the next video that's going to come out is going to be the sashing units and the corner units. There's 12 sashing and four corner units. So um, I'm going to finish the last block, I think. Maybe the last two blocks that I have to do. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I know I said bye, but it was my last block. <laughs> I guess I've done all nine of them. That's kind of how my day's gone. I'm a little tired and just trying to get it figured out. Finally got it figured out for you. So um, I'm here for you, doing the mistakes, figuring it out for you. It's gonna be a beautiful quilt. I can't wait to get it done and I'm looking forward to doing the sashing and the corner units and then putting the whole thing together. So thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe. Uh, below to get notified when we put out new videos when I finish doing this one which will be in a couple days or any of the other videos that I have. Uh, I'm doing the US, uh, US States Quilt Block Journey. I have other sew alongs that are coming along and the second month of this is going to be coming any day. Um, they've had supply issues so this one came late so the second month is coming soon so stay tuned for that. I appreciate you very much. Thank you.